Hi there, I'm Birdwalks and welcome to Satisfactory. Uh, if you don't know what this game is, it's a factory building game, 3D, it's like Factorio except different. I've never played Factorio actually, so I'm not certain what that's like. But anyway, we're just gonna get into it. I spawned into the northern forest because that is the most updated uh, biome lately, as in update 5. Uh, Northern Forest has gotten a big facelift, so it looks completely different now. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna gather a lot of plants, because that's basically the entirety of the uh, first part of the game, just getting plants for biomass and stuff. Though I do need to build the hub, so hold on. Let me just scan for iron. Okay, for 20 meters that way, that's nice. I'm just gonna gather everything on the way. You might notice that there are a lot of lag spikes when I move a lot because. And that's not because of my heart, because of my uh, GPU or whatever. It is because um, my hard drive is ab absolutely terrible. Um, I am getting a new SSD though, so that should be fixed later on. So. Hello, Moth. Um, thank you. Oh, so these are the iron nodes. Um. I don't feel like this is the perfect place to make a base, but I guess it's fine to start. I'm gonna have to take care of these things though, because these are annoying. Let me just pick that up and eat and eat. Thanks. Um, right. There's another one over there, okay. Alrighty. Um, is there any copper nearby? Two hundred meters. Is that somewhere up there, or is it? Oh, there it is. That's not that far away. And limestone is right over there. That's not. Oh, overall, that's not a terrible place. Because everything is relatively close. Okay. Because I'm just going to clear all these bushes out. For biomass. And... Then I guess I'm going to place the hub... A bit out here, not too close. Because then it might get in the way. Uh, yes, just gonna get these things away. Okay. Um, right. Why is... Why is there 50 smart plating up there? Hmm, that's weird. Anyways, first thing I want to get, I guess, is... Um... I guess logistics, because that allows me to become more efficient in factory building, and that's basically the entirety of the game. So, I'm gonna need three miners, one for iron, one for copper, one for limestone. I need two smelters, one for iron, one for copper, and a constructor for limestone. And then I want some storage containers, three of them. And do we actually have the stuff for that? I have the stuff for that. That is, uh, that's nice. Okay, guess I'm gonna build the miner here. So, like that. And then the smelter right in front of it. And then in front of that the storage container. And then I'm just gonna link them up. And 
give them power. Uh, so now, if I connect this up to the head, I should have iron running. Though I don't have any fuel. Guess I'm gonna have to fix that. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, set up a production line for that eventually. Uh, right, so put that in, and I'm gonna put that in, and then we should be fine. I'm gonna put the rest of the biomass right here. There we go, and let's now get copper production miner, and that is iron actually. Copper's all the way over there. Miner. Guess I'm gonna name it here. Smelter. And some storage right here. Not entirely efficient, but it's fine. Then here, here, here. Let's put that to copper and hook this up. Alright, and now all that is left is the limestone, which is up there. Oh, it's a pure node. That is uh, new. I'm used to uh, all limestone nodes being impure because the one at the grass fields is impure. But I guess this one's different. Uh, let's just put it over there. Then I should have enough space here for constructor. But then I actually kind of want the uh, storage container to be closer, like down there, or just over there, that could work. Uh, that works. I know it doesn't look pretty, but until we have base building, um, I don't think it's gonna get better. Okay, let's hook it up now, and... Oh, I don't have enough copper wire. So I guess I can just hook it up here. Now, I'm just gonna get some more copper wire, because it's annoying that I can't get that at the moment. So... Here we go, and... Oh, let me turn on the light. Wrong button, there we go. Um, have there been any problems? No, everything's still running fine, that's good. Let's just put all useless stuff in here. Alrighty, um... There's a lot of stuff in here. I guess I'm just gonna see... What uh, resources I have to get to get all those uh, things so I'm just gonna add those and then in here just count off it all right so that's a lot of resources I'm gonna need I'm just gonna get exactly what I need and then turn it all into whatever it is I need for this milestone so here goes I need a lot more iron actually, okay. So then I have enough for the plates. Then I'm gonna craft those up. But I could just make a few automated stations that I can just put stuff in. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna do that so that I don't have to manually craft everything all the time. So hold on, let me make a list of everything I'm gonna need. I'm gonna want like six storage containers, three constructors, so then I just need more iron plates and iron rods, okay. 
Alright, and I guess I'm gonna build it over here. And then storage container, so one here. Here. Right, and then I just need some more storage, con storage containers for- can you just please- I'm sorry, no way, thanks. And just gonna put this one here and this- Why doesn't it want to align with that? Oh well, it's relatively fine. And I don't have enough iron plates. So, I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, I don't have cables either, that's... Good, very good, really nice. Isn't it funny how I probably have already spent more time building this entire system than I would have if I had just kind of crafted it all manually? I think it's kind of ironic, but I kind of like it. Right, get that hooked up and that wrong button, that, and there we go. And then I guess I'm just gonna grab everything, well, in the exact amount of ingots I'm gonna need to be crafted into the item. And then all I have to do is wait. So, for the iron rods, it's just gonna be. Hold on. 150 of. 150 iron. So, get this one, and. There we go, that is running. Now for the copper, I'm gonna need 40 more ingots, so let me just grab those. So there we go, there we go, and wires are crafted. I hope the uh, power grid isn't gonna want to kill me. Um, let's see. Okay, so the max consumption is like right underneath the capacity, that's uh, good. Because all of these are hooked in, which means that the moment they're gonna... Which means if all of them gonna turn on 100%, then it's gonna take a lot of power. So I just need five more ingots. Because that's just waiting, and there we go, and there we go, and there we go. 225 iron ingots for the iron plates production. And I guess now it's just a waiting game. So, um, I guess I'm gonna craft some more biomass. Alright, it's all fueled up. It's all fueled up now, and uh, let's just put all this in, and let's put all this in, and this, this in, and I guess this as well, because I don't need miners right now, and now I just have to wait. And I guess while waiting, I'm just gonna explore this area, and yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do, probably. There seem to be a few monsters here, or aliens like and I fall. Thank you. Guess the planet doesn't want. Oh, that's aggressive. Guess the planet doesn't want me to get all of this either. Uh, let's just get the slug. Guess slugs are nice when you can finally use them. Ooh, 
those are big Megarics, that's some nice plants, they give you a lot of uh, healing. Which I'm gonna need if I'm gonna keep dying and stuff. I see you have been taken by the river. Now where hath you... where hath thou gone? It's still working, okay? How far is it? They are all still going, okay. Well, I guess it's gonna be more waiting. Alright, let's see if it's done now. No, it is not. It's very close, though. It's done now, that's cool. This one, still going, but almost done. This one is five sixth of the way there my mouse just does that something sometimes just being like not even exaggerating there just flings across the screen for some reason sometimes like that except worse Anyways, uh, this one is almost done, this one is done, this one is done, I guess we're now waiting on the copper wires. And there we go. Cool. Now let's select the base building. And what do we need? Alright, 100 plates, so that's going to be what? Yeah, that's gonna be 150 iron ingots, then 100 iron ingots, and I have all of the... Uh, probably have all of the concrete already. Yeah, that's more than enough. So, 200. Split. That's weird. And I guess I'm just gonna put that in the uh, hub immediately. Milestone exchange concluded. Okay, guess I'm gonna put all the concrete in there now. Also, I should probably like make all of this a bit more efficient by making it automatically feed into there. And I guess I'm gonna do that now because I want to. So, am I though? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. Logistics. It's not gonna look pretty, I know, but I mean, these early factories aren't really meant to look pretty, are they? And there we go. So now I don't have to worry about this stuff anymore. That's great. Um, I do also want to hook up this to the copper, but damn, that's gonna be a long line. Uh, there we go. Like, this looks chaotic, but it's nowhere near Let's Game It Out's level. Chaos. I'm gonna put it over here though to make it bridge over everything a little bit. Though that's not efficient. Should go a little bit more like this. There we go, and that is hooked in now. Watch the copper ingots go. Now that I can't really hook into anything there because it's already being constructed into something, so that's not gonna happen. But I feel like this is actually gonna look really nice for a for a thumbnail. There was my mouse again. 
Uh, right, I want to see how many plates there are now. Not enough plates, but we are getting... We, are, we do have to actually have enough rods. So there we go. And how long have I been playing? Almost an hour. I guess I'm gonna play about two hours per game, per episode or something. Maybe that's gonna increase as episode eps stroke or something. That's probably gonna increase as episodes go on because, you know, it takes longer and longer to do, to achieve stuff in this game. Because it's obviously kind of an exponential game, if you can call it that. It kind of starts off slowly, but then really, really ramps up. This could be better. Hold on. Just put that in there directly. Then put this in there. And this in there. And now we can almost start building bases. That's really nice. Um, we should have enough plates now. Yes, we do. So we can now start building. But I'm pressed. Next milestone is going to be field research. So let's just select that. And then... What have we unlocked? Walls and foundations. Look at the tower and that is it. Okay, nice. I guess I'm just gonna start by building the stuff. There was a new building mode, right? How did I select it again? That's not how... Uh... Oh yes, zoop. Zooping is really nice. You can just be like, uh, hold on, let's just zoop over here. So I want to make like a big platform, and then I can just do this. Though I don't have enough resources to zoop a lot. Wait, these things are quite planks. As pla planks. These are plates. These things require plates as well. I did not know that for some reason. So I haven't played this game enough for that. Right, um... Yeah, plates. That was it. There we go, more plates. Maybe I should also improve these smelter setups, because right now it's like a little bit slow. So, like that. I'm gonna grab a splitter. Clip and make her. I don't care about clipping. Though I do care about power, so... Oh, I'm gonna need wires. Please don't turn off. Please don't turn off in the time that I'm not here. Please, please, please. I don't want to hear that sound. So there we go. There we go, there we go. And God damn it. Right, that's fixed now, and I guess I am going to just continue building, once I have enough stuff for it. Oh no, wait, I wanted to prove this. Right, more rods and more plates. I feel like the plates are going a bit slowly though. That's fine. Okay. 
Alright, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode of Satisfactory. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to see more, keep up with any videos that I do upload, please remember to subscribe and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.